as we are aware that uh, the state of Nagaland is the second highest HIV positive in the country and also the highest prenatal care in our country and uh, visualizing the need of our people, particularly people living with HIV. It was the burning desire of our state to have our own HIV viral load testing for many years. And uh, with the support of the prayer by our people, with the support of the government of India and the NACO, particularly our additional secretary and the director general, Sirimati Hekali V. Jamomi, and with the active, you know, cooperation by the team and SEC Nagaland under the leadership of Dr. Aku Today is a historical, rather it's a, it's a milestone for the people of the state and particularly for those people living with HIV. As of now, we have about 12,290 people living with HIV and it is required that they should be tested every year, once in a year, to assess the health condition so that necessary treatment can be done by the health workers. And visualizing that in the past, all the blood sample collecting from land and bread of our state from the district of Nokla, Kipiri, Tongsan, Longlen, Moon, and so on and so forth, collecting the sound and sending to Mumbai, sending to Rims Impal. It was an immense challenge for those health workers and the doctors who have retired now and who are serving. We would like to acknowledge the services rendered by all of them. But now, since we are going to have our own lab, we will able to take care of them without any problem. And it is our desire that along with our country, which is also a signatory to the United Nations Sustainable Development Goal 3.3, committed to end HIV by 2030. It is the desire of a state government and uh, as a Commissioner Secretary of Health and Family Welfare, who is also the Chairman of Insects Society, I take privilege and with gratitude to God Almighty, I launch this HIV-1 viral load testing laboratory in the state of Nagaland in the premises of Naga Hospital Authority, which is also the teaching hospital for NIMSA Medical College of our state. On this day, the 26th of June, 2023, for the welfare of our people, particularly people living with HIV. Uh, I'm Dr. Hopefully. So there wouldn't be any problem collecting, sending by Tata Mobile. It is uh, indeed with great pleasure I stand here this morning in the launching program of the first HIV viral load testing lab in the state Nagaland at Naga Hospital Authority, Kohima, on this day, the 26th June 2023. PLHIV here refers to people living with HIV. So with the launching of the test and treat policy in the country in 2021, NACO aims to significantly increase the number of people living with HIV to be on treatment in order to achieve the epidemic control in the state. 
PLHIV or treatment were traditionally tested for CD4 count to monitor the treatment, treatment response and viral load testing was advised only in case of suspecting clinical treatment failure or drug resistance. However, in the wake of the new WHO viral load testing guidelines, NACO has developed the policy of routine viral load uh, testing for monitoring all the patient or treatment. The main reason behind uh, recommend, recommending routine viral load testing as the preferred approach as compared to the immunological and clinical uh, monitoring is to provide early and more accurate indication of treatment response by the PLHIVs and to change the second to second line of treatment in case the viral load test shows failure in the first line of treatment. Blood samples quality deteriorates if it does not reach the testing laboratory within five days from the day of collection. There are times when samples were delayed in reaching the labs. We have also experienced sample packages getting lost during the interstate transportation when our PLHIV has to be called again to air center for, uh, for recollection of blood samples. Thereby, at times, our PLHIV have to go through a lot of inconveniences just for a simple blood test. However, today, we, are, we can proudly say that we have our very own viral load testing facility at our doorstep. I must thank Team Evolt uh, for coming into terms and agreement in signing the MOU with Nagaland Sex in time. We are also very grateful to Sherry and their team for constantly guiding us, uh, especially in the course of doing the uh, MOU for this lab agreement and other technical assistance. With the, the viral load lab testing lab in place, together with extensive awareness and quality counseling on the importance of antiretro treatment, I am very optimistic that our state will lead in achieving the national goal of 95% of all RPL HIV uh, receiving treatment to have viral load suppression by 2025. Patients who were feeding on uh, first line and second line ERT had to travel to Imphal to do this viral load testing. So to detect the viral load, their samples has to reach Imphal. We have to coordinate people, those souls, uh, mm, samples are to be sent. We have to coordinate that they reach here in, at 7 a.m. so that the one who is taking up, we have to all coordinate from the Makur, from Mon to Insang, patient had to come, we had to collect their blood, pack it and make sure that it reaches the sumo or the bus that's going at that time in the morning. We have to pack it and set it. Sometimes the samples get damaged, actually, as our uh, director has already said. So again, the whole process starts again. Patients have to be called here again. The expenses of traveling here, early morning coming down at, in the lab at NHK, taking out the blood and then giving, then going back again to be called. That was creating a lot of problem expenses, plus traveling, the way they had to stay back here, the coordination we had to do, it was a lot of trouble. Now with this coming of this mission, so wonderful. This problem is finished now. We are so happy. The placement of a viral load machine will address a lot of gaps we are currently facing, as already stated. With this machine in place, now we are sure to give timely treatment services. We should be able to provide quality and timely services, which will help curb the further spread of the disease. I request the handlers of these machines to ensure that proper care is taken for this equipment. The new policy of test and treat and 95% viral load uh, below, uh, is undetectable. My another request is, all people who has this 95% should know their status. Let us stick to that also. That is very important. And those
positive, pe- people tested positive, should be 100% put on treatment. And we have to aim for 100. So that at least 95 is achieved. Because once a patient is detected, what is the, what is the point in keeping that patient without starting the ART? So this is my personal request. Because many patients are still there in the peripheries who have been detected, but they have not been initiated on any AR or ART. The question of uh, baseline investigation, the charges where the patients cannot pay, so like liver function tests, kidney function tests, this issue has been solved now. All the district hospitals are doing free, except Dimapur, because their case load is so high. So in Dimapur, of course, some cases they are doing free also, but uh, uh, there the charge is not free. 100% free. Otherwise, this issue is also been uh, solved now. So, uh, all patients, detected patients, we should ensure that they are started on ART and regularly monitored through our this very viral population, which is going to be the main uh, 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 the main point where we will know whether the patient is really doing well with this line of treatment. Previously, even if the patient was not doing well with this, we had no no other uh, system where if they are unable to come and do their viral load machine, they have to just continue with that treatment even if it is not going doing good for them. So with this one, this is going to be avoided. So let us make the maximum use of this machine. Uh, I think uh, when it comes to the technical report, I'm sure there will be more to say in addition to what our project director as well as our principal director said. So uh, I'd like to, I have shared this before, and I'd like to re-emphasize upon it because we need to be aware of where we stand as of today. And uh, in our previous uh, NSEX uh, inauguration, uh, we have talked about, I have shared about this, and I'd like to re-emphasize upon it. Uh, it has been almost 35 years since uh, NAPO came into existence and with regards to even the uh, involvement of uh, the World Health Organization against AIDS. Uh, it was in 1992, I, I believe, that uh, it came into existence and from 92 to 99, there has been a, uh, up till date, there has been a series of uh, progress in the fight against HIV and AIDS. Uh, the mortality has, as far as um, India is concerned, I believe it's come down to around 48%. And as far as India is concerned, I believe it's come down to 31%. Uh, I don't know why the difference is there, but I believe uh, that way uh, our state is doing a wonderful job. Now, coming down to the present scenario that we have, till date, before the introduction of the uh, viral load, machine, uh, we were concentrating more on the CD4 count, and as Madam PD has also said, if it was requiring the viral load, we had to take the trouble of packing it and sending it elsewhere. But now it is right at our doorstep, and the advantage of it, definitely our, our, our different teams who are an expert in that, in this field, will be telling you more of the technical details. But as far as, just give you a short out, outcome, uh, a short uh, comparison between the two. The CD4 count is actually is basically a, a, gives you a rough idea of how much damage that, that virus does to the body. That's it. And as far as that's concerned, we kind of uh, uh, juggle with our treatment. But as far as this uh, viral load is concerned, it targets three things, I believe. I am sure, correct me if I'm wrong, but it, corrects, it targets three things. One is the status of the uh, virus in the body, the status of the illness, okay, that is the first. The second is the result of your treatment. It kind of t- gives you a rough idea how does, how is your treatment going. And the fourth is what is the roadmap for the modification as far as the treatment is concerned. So I believe that these are the three areas where the viral load can really help the people of Nagaland. Yeah, for today for the community of people living with HIV AIDS in Nagaland. It's like a dream come true. Because for nearly two decades, 
this is something that we the community have been demanding. You know, for this, people will say that now it is a very advanced distinct, everything is there, so we got it. No, it's not like that. In order to get this, how many times we have gone to the daily for Chandra, Manga, in order to get Dana? Even for the second line also, third line medicine also, and even for the city for Pan Missing, plus even for the work, my work in Shin. And then even, that was in the year, I think, 2017 or 18, if I'm not mistaken, uh, how the family welfare of India uh, launched 20 plus viral load machine in India. At the time also, they called to send a letter to each, uh, each of the state that whoever state come will get the first distinct. So again, I have to rush to the daily. But for the nearby distinct that will be a source of harm, they have put all this train up and then for them to it's nearby, they can then from here to what to do, it's very expensive for us to go so many people. So like I went and then at the time of class I was they said that for high prevalence state they will say uh, they said that uh, they will see to it but at the last hour they said that for, for not east since there is a one in this uh in fall. So for time being we just go for it and then for next district next time we will see to it. That's how we were not this thing, but even that was even after that was all, we have not stopped advocating for the very well. But for everything goes in them. But under our esteemed leadership of our Commissioner Secretary, Health and Country Welfare and Chairman and Sex Siri Y, Kyoto Sema Ice, and now I will say that our former project director and sex Takako. And also those who have advocated for our community and bought the parallel machine in Nagali. Thank you, sir. Thank you, madam, for the concern you have for our community. I would also like to acknowledge Mrs. V. Bikali Zimobi, Additional Secretary, Director General NAPO, for our deep concern to work people living with HIV in Nagaland. Also, I'd like to thank Share India and Black Division and Sex. All your support shown to us will always be remembered. I would also like to acknowledge for not only giving the space, but also giving as all the testing facility, especially to NHIP, for nearly two decades. For other state, or I mean for other district, there it's just happening for a year or two. But for right after the free, free ERD in 2004, April, from April till now, all the testing facility were getting free. So once again, Thank you to NHK for the deep concern for the power community. In a way to say, for people living with HIV in Nagaland, it's a red letter day for us. Yeah. I would also like to request the concerned department to please ensure the supply chain of blood sample from different district should reach in time so that our result is accurate. And also please ensure to it that uninterrupted supply of garbage of vital load so that we the PHIV can access anytime and live a quality life. I would like to congratulate uh, the Nagaland uh, Health and Family Welfare Department and the NSACS on behalf of our project director, Dr. Vijay Eldandi, and our entire Share India team uh, for, the establishing, for establishing this viral load lab. This is a landmark occasion, no question about that. 
and this is definitely going to change the uh, landscape of the treatment services in Nagaland. You have to think that there will be definitely long term benefits. There is, uh, you know, using this technology, it can be leveraged for other tests as well. I think these are some thoughts that can, you know, come later in the day based on the needs. And as a technical partner, we have a wonderful relationship with the lab services and NSACs and uh, we look forward in journey with you for making this viral load lab fully operational and also ensuring that the quality standards are maintained. With our experience from operationalizing 64 viral load labs in the country, we certainly look forward uh, to this relationship. We will be with you in ensuring that these standards are maintained. This is the day that the Lord has met and we are rejoicing in it. And uh, as you know that uh, our country is a signatory to the United Nations of a Sustainable Development Goal 3.3, which is committed to ending AIDS epidemic as a public health treat by 2030. And it's not an easy job for our country with 1.4 billion population, yet our country has taken up a challenges and we are moving in the right direction. And Launching is the first ever HIV-1 viral load lab in this Naga Hospital Authority, which is also a teaching hospital of the medical college, marks a significant milestone in the state of Nagaland in ensuring better treatment and health care for the people living with HIV community. And I really appreciate Lanoaya. All of us, we are together. We will be with you. We will live with no stone and throne, but to give our best effort to your community. Please regard me as one of your community and regard all of us. We will not let you down. And this is the burning desire of all of us. And uh, as of today, as you know that uh, Nagaland is the second highest HIV positive in the country, and perhaps the highest when it comes to the international care, and we have a huge responsibility and as per the data available, about 12,290 people living with HIV are on treatment. And we don't know the number could be more because this is the only number that are coming forward for treatment. And let us also admit that many are still unreached and untested. So we have a long way to go. I was not very serious about this. Yes, I know that this department is one of the most important departments, but I was not as serious as it would be. Spending huge time in other departments, in finance, almost all my time, in agri and allied department, spending about 34 years at the end of the day, I was posted in this department and working with the wonderful people, you know, and some heroes rather. You know, many of your activities were not known to the people in the past. And six months working with my beloved health workers in the department is amazing and interesting. The way 
you know, Dr. VP, Dr. Apko and Sinti, they were sharing. In the past, how you were taking trouble to send the blood days, collecting all the land and bread of the state from Nokla, from Tangsan, from Mo, from Kipere, from Pak and Zinaboto, all the way to Rim Simpal and Bombay. You know, I think the society need to appreciate the contribution of all those who are retired and we are still serving. We need to know that you have served to our people. And it was also the burning desire of our state to have, and as Lanu has stated, not only the government, but the people living with HIV, they themselves, they have to go to Delhi and replace them. But I believe there is a time for everything, and now is the right time. And on many occasions, for the last six months, time to time, I used to have a discussion with Dr. Akosari, and I believe I have also given my maximum time for the welfare of the people living in HIV, and my younger sister, Hakali Beach Mommy, who is also the additional secretary, and also the director general, time and again, her concern for the whole nation, in particular to our state, is need to be appreciated. So, as you know that uh, we face immense problems and challenges to collect the blood sample, to send all the way to Mumbai and to Rims, and particularly during the COVID pandemic. You know, when the national lockdown, the state lockdown, we could not be able to attend to the people living in HIV. And with the present situation in the state of Manipur, we failed to send the test for the last two months. And I believe it was also the burning desire of many doctors, senior officers, who are no, I mean retired like Dr. Vinto, and the burning desire of all of us. So in order to fulfill it, I think we must thank God Almighty, and we must also thank the NAPA government of India, and most importantly, our sister, Hakali Vijumami, for helping us. And, you know, since we have realized more than ever that we should have, we must have our own. This is a great day, and especially for the people living with HIV. And let me bring to a kind notice that this lab will be open in all working days. So there should not be any problem. And I have a confidence with the able leadership of St. Mary, and most importantly, under the guidance and leadership of Dr. Margaret Yome and her team, I'm confident that the sample that is going to be collected, when we were in a position to do, sending all the way to Mumbai and Rims, I don't see the reason why we should not be able to deliver the right materials without any delay and be it to know that this NHK which is the teaching hospital for NIMSA and without any hesitation during the time of the uh, NMC visit also, they have also declared that this is one of the best government hospitals not in our state, not only in our northeast, but one of the best in the country. So there is no doubt about it, and uh, Lalo, tell your friends through social media, through WhatsApp, that there is a good news. I think we have every reason to celebrate today, at least 
joining with the people living with HIV. And HIV, you know, and why it is record is as you know that it is a mandatory for people living with HIV that they need to be tested once in a year. And if the test result is not, you know, it shows something else that the drugs that they are taking is not beneficial to them. So as uh, Cynthia has stated as a layman, perhaps it will able to, you know, through these days it will able to give the better idea to the health workers and the doctors how to treat the patient, how to change the medicine. So you will able to live as a normal life all of us. So there is no trick. And we should not be worried about it. This kind of awareness need not be created within ourselves. I keep emphasizing that this should be created in the minds of our people, in the society. It should be included in the syllabus of the Sunday school preaching, elementary education, pulpit teachings, and let it be, you know, be included in the temples, in the church, in the mosque, because health is wealth, and we need to create an awareness.